Daddy, I got your breakfast to fit perfectly into the zone. You will be metabolizing at a super efficient rate all morning. Shea, where's the coffee? And I'd like a piece of toast for breakfast. Daddy, that's not in the zone. That is so Susan Powder retro. All those carbs just turn into sugar and they sit there and they don't burn at all. Daddy, stop the insanity and have an egg white. An egg white? Why bother? Oh, Daddy, remember, you're equal parts of carbs, protein, and fat. Oh, and do you think you'll be wearing your tuxedo or your dinner jacket to the litigator's Mardi Gras? Because we will have to get you a new shirt. Cher, I'm in depots all day. I'll be home late. I don't have time to think about a shirt right now. Oh, well, don't forget your B12s. They're for energy. I'll just have coffee. Oh. Oh, it's impossible to take care of Daddy. He can make a person crazy. And then I made an incision under the nostril and drilled off the bone. Oh, thank you very much, Dr. Fleming. My pleasure, Miss Gust. And now, our next guest will tell us about the supermodel profession, Veronica Webb. Yeah. 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 Hi, Miss Gust. Thank you. OK, first, you've got to grow really long legs. And then you need perfect skin. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. It's, uh, Shalom, and she can't handle the new stacked heels, so they need me to step in. I'm really sorry, Miss Geist. Oh, thank you for coming. And now, as our final guest today, I am thrilled to introduce famous litigator and author, Sheila Kendall. Now, as you all know, Sheila Kendall's book recently hit the bestseller list, entitled... First, kill all the lawyers. Yeah. A consumer's guide yeah. to being your own attorney. Oh, and remember that quote came from Shakespeare. Miss guys, you can't mislead people into thinking that was Shakespeare's message. He gave that line to a villain, remember? Dick, wasn't it? The book, Dick the, the butcher? butcher? Yeah. And, and here's Sheila Kendall. <laughs> After certain verdicts come in, Everyone always asks, how? How? Why? How can such a travesty of justice occur? Well, my answer is, and always will be. There's something familiar about this, Sheila. Something, oh, I get it. She's like a girl version of Daddy. Wow, that Sheila Kendall is really intense. Oh, much scarier than on TV. I think Sheila Kendall is a really interesting woman. She might really enjoy meeting my dad. Oh, no, sure, don't go there. Those women lawyers are more high-strung than Nicole Kidman's pre-Tom Cruise hair. Yeah, they know exactly what they want, and there is no arguing with them. Uh-huh. That is exactly what Daddy needs. Now, what really infuriates me about Judge Cohn's ruling in the Kurtz Addison case is that the very point of the writ of habeas corpus is the court-engendered secession of unlawful restraint. That's right. Yeah, all right, bye. Daddy, have you ever thought about dating again? Huh? What are you talking about, Cher? Well, don't you ever get lonely? Wouldn't you like to meet somebody? Well, of course, honey, but you know, it's not that easy. Uh, see how it is? I can't let it for a second. Yeah, no, 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 no way, no negotiations. We'll take him straight to the steps of the courtroom, make him sweat. All right, later. See? How am I going to find time to meet somebody? Well, maybe if you met somebody already in the legal field, then half your work would be done. Shay, what are you up to? Nothing. Oh, by the way, the coolest person came to speak at our school today, and she's a lawyer, too. Maybe you've heard of her, um, Sheila Kendall? Sheila Kendall? Uh, she's the one who wrote First Kill All the Lawyers. I don't like her. I don't like her politics, I don't like her work, I don't like her clamoring for publicity. Well, she dresses really nice. Maybe if Sheila Kendall spent more time pre-screening her jurors and less time pre-screening her wardrobe, her last trial wouldn't have been such a circus. Daddy, you need friends with similar interests. Chair, I couldn't be less interested in the interests of that media floozy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I'm waiting for them. Where are they? How am, I, how am I supposed to go into a meeting? Good start. At least he's got strong feelings about her. They just need a little guiding. Everyone was thrilled that rapper Warren G came to our school, but I was busy planning my daddy strategy. Number one, 
the source. Number two, a complete rhyming dictionary. <laughs> Number three, a mini tape recorder. Also, keep in mind, and uh, for more archaic selections for the people with a deeper love for etymology, I prefer Roger's. Mm. For example. Well, Daddy seems a little reluctant, but I'm sure if I can just get them together, their obvious compatibility would just take over. Sure, how are you going to do that? Easy. I phoned her publicist, and she's on book tour. Oh, and guess where her third stop is? The coffee book and tea at the Beverly Center. Not for nothing, Cher, but I think you need to get back on the monorail because you are so in fantasy land. I did look pretty natty in it tonight. Oh, you will look so handsome at the litigators, Mardi Gras. Mm. I don't have to impress other people with my shirt. I'm just gonna have fun with my best girl. Hey, what's playing in the theater? <gasps> Daddy, look, it's John Grisham's The Briefcase opening. Oh, oh, that looks good. Let's go next Friday. Oh, can we go to the bookstore? What do you need? Um, I need to get a rhyming dictionary. Okay. <gasps> Daddy, look. What? What? Share what? No, Cher, I am not going in there. Daddy, she was so interesting when she spoke at our school. Sweetheart, I'll eat egg whites, I'll do your zone thing, but I'm not going in. Daddy, come on. You'll like it. Brilliant. You are the most profound legal mind working in the country today. I did my own divorce. I got rid of my psycho ex-husband for $200. Miss Kendall. Hi, you spoke at my school. Oh, it was so interesting. I just had to come out and get your book. Oh, nice. Who shall I sign this to? Oh, could you sign it to my father, Mel Horowitz? He is a totally prominent attorney. The Mel Horowitz? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Miss Kendall, your book is an affront to the legal profession. How could you possibly advocate the laymen throw themselves into the brutal quagmire of the judicial system? Quagmire? Well, the real morass is the overpriced lawyers hiding behind a sea of jargon and exploiting people in need. As you well know, our profession is filled with ethical, hardworking people who've gone through years of training and education in order to help people in distress. I believe in empowering the average man who is nowhere near as needy and mindless as you seem to think he is. You've got a problem with that. Excuse me. Do I detect a Brooklyn accent? Damn. My publicist made me take elocution lessons to get rid of it. What for? Kind of works for you. Daddy's from Sheep's Head Bay. Come on. I'm from Brighton Beach. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> you must have so much in common. Well, why don't you see if you can get away and come with us for coffee? I grew up across the street from Zymar's Deli. No, no, no. I You're did, kidding. I did. I, I worked there. I worked there after school. You're kidding. Do you remember the pastrami sandwiches? Oh, they were. You would get cholesterol. Like, like, Daddy and Sheila were really hitting it off. They didn't get to their closing argument for over an hour. <laughs> Creeper, jeeper, keeper, deeper, mm, grim reaper. Those are the only rhymes for beeper they have, Sean. Well, that's all there is. Maybe you could change it to pager, major, stager. Oh, hold on. See you later, honey. Where are you going, Daddy? Dinner with Sheila. Oh, cool. Sean, I gotta go. D, guess what? I am a genius. I made a major love connection, and I am the Cupid of the Bar Association.
I am so psyched. Daddy and Sheila are a major twosome. Awesome matchmaking, Cher. Red flag, Cher. <laughs> I hope you have a lot of good laser discs because you're gonna be spending a lot of time home alone. Amber, you are so wrong. Daddy's happy. Sheila is even helping me keep him on the zone diet. Things couldn't be any better. Classic honeymoon period. The potential step-parent always starts out nice, like they're gonna be your mom's best husband yet and really care about the offspring. Or they'll be the girlfriend of your dad that you can really talk to. But before you know it, the loving couple is booked solid, with dinners out, fancy events, and your channel surfing solo. <laughs> You'll be lucky if he can pencil you in for small talk. Oh, that is so worst case scenario. Yeah, and how would you even know? Well, of course, my parents are still happily married. <laughs> but everyone else, tragic. You know, Cher, that did happen with Daddy when he started seeing his second wife. D? What? That is so stupid. Nothing is going to change. Daddy and I still have all our meals together. We have our Friday night movie date. And he's taking me to the litigator's Mardi Gras next week. Oh, buy yourself a ticket to reality, Cher. You are so traveling in third wheel territory. <sighs> Whatever. Daddy? Daddy? Daddy, where were you? Oh. Hi, sweetheart. I just went for a little walk. Oh, well, I fixed you some mango and pineapple. Oh, that's all right. Just had a bite with Sheila. Oh, hi, Cher. Cher, you were so right. This scarf really brightens up the coat. Mel, I found those legal briefs you wanted. They were in my car. <laughs> we can go over them. Oh, oh, thanks, Sheila. Mm. I'll get that research on entertainment law for you and go over tomorrow. But, Daddy? Tomorrow's Friday. We were gonna go see the briefcase. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Sheila and I saw it last night. Amber was right. I am being replaced. I fixed them up so well, I fixed myself right out of a daddy. When I get my record deal, it's gonna be so major. MTV will be blowing up a major. <laughs> so, what'd you think? Great rhyme, Sean. Ooh, I think MTV Jams is blowing up your pager as we speak. You think? <laughs> I don't think they appreciate us. See, there's no love here. Pedestrians. It's all good. So what happened? See, it's awful. They walk. They snack. He even took her to see the briefcase. Oh, Cher. And that movie was so good. Especially at the end when they realized the briefcase was empty. The whole... I haven't seen it yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, bummed. All aboard the I Told You So Express share. Amber, I am perfectly fine. Except for Dee ruining the end of the briefcase. Ooh, I can't wait to see that. It's, it's empty. empty. <laughs> so, Cher, what are your plans for the night your dad takes Sheila to that big Mardi Gras dance? My plans? Dancing with Daddy? <sighs> Return the dress now, Cher. The less time that it spends in your closet, the less disappointed you'll be. Hey, Amber, do you have to rent out storage space for all that negativity or what? What? <sighs> Daddy? Daddy? Sheila, honey, I'll pick you up at 9 on Saturday. Oh, no, no, this will be fun. Everyone's going to love you. We'll have a great time. Well, Cher won't mind. She can fend for herself. I can't believe it. Daddy's taking Sheila to the litigator's Mardi Gras. Cher, it's inevitable, OK? Our parents move on. You know, they, they develop new relationships. They stop depending on us. That's why you can't wrap your whole life around them. You have to live for yourself. It's just that I thought I only wanted Daddy to be happy. But how arrogant of me to think that I could control someone else's happiness. I'm feeling neglected. Am I grieving for my own abandonment? Or am I feeling guilty over the resentment of my father's happiness? Or is this whole thing an unmotivated anger that I'm suppressing? Oh, Cher, you're giving me a headache. Oh. Okay, look, you should feel happy that you had a hand in picking
parents are busy and daddy's going to the party without me. That doesn't mean I can't enjoy myself. Oh, your shirt looks nice. What are you doing, Cher? Well, I'm putting your cards in these airtight plastic covers and arranging them by team and year. That way, they'll last longer and you can find them easier. Oh, that's nice. But don't you think you should be getting dressed for the Mardi Gras? I thought you were taking Sheila. Sheila? Whatever gave you that idea? I guess I thought I overheard you say you'd pick her up Saturday at 9. <laughs> that's right. <clears throat> this morning. While you were at softball, Sheila and I met with some of the guys from my firm for breakfast. Oh. You thought I would take someone else without even telling you? Well, I thought that maybe you got distracted and forgot. Honey, this is our tradition. Well, you've seemed a little preoccupied lately. Cher, you do not get preoccupied out of a tradition. You and I have been going to Mardi Gras together since you wore pigtails and baby doll dresses. That was last year, Daddy. Smarty pants. I meant when you were a baby, not just making a fashion statement. Look, I know I've been spending a lot of time with Sheila, but you were right. I need friends with similar interests. No matter what else I'm doing or, or who else I'm seeing, You'll always be my little girl. You're not going to start singing Sunrise, Sunset again, are you, Daddy? I was thinking about it. <laughs> now, let's see. Do uh, you think you can get dressed and ready in under six minutes? <laughs> Watch this. Is this the little girl I carried? Ah, da, 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 da. The litigator fiesta was totally off the hook. I pigged out on ribs, broke a heel dancing, and I won the hugest teddy bear in the karaoke contest. It didn't really fit the decor in my room, so I insisted Daddy give it to Sheila to remind her of him while she was on her book tour. He still needs me to help him with these things. Check it. We bring the flavor that's banging in your ear. Why keeping it real, no doubt, without fear. Always representing just like this here. Rocking the mic, trump tight with fat gear. See, we bring the flavor that's banging in your ear. Keeping it real, no doubt, without fear. Always representing just like this here. Rocking the mic, trump tight with fat gear. See, I'm going for mine. It won't stop till I get it. As soon as the beat kicks in, I'm right with it. It's an assignment record deal. It's going to be so major that MTV will be blowing up a pager. We rock the spot and we're taking no losses. Blowing up the scene, a team, my own bosses. Keeping it real, you know the deal. We got to represent. That's the only way to make all the dead presidents lay down in a row like tic-tac-toe. Making much, much dough with my lyrical flow. Well, if you don't know, baby, now you know. It's about that time for me to let that go. No doubt that I'm a new jack and haven't paid my dues. True that, but I'm a do rap like a veteran and had you wondering hmm where you been at for so long to kick lyrics that come this strong see we bring the flavor that's banging in your ear keeping it real no doubt without fear always representing just like this here rocking the mic trunk tight with fat gear see we bring the flavor that's banging in your ear keeping it real no doubt without fear always representing just like this here rocking the mic trunk tight with fat gear and we yeah. yeah. Oh. Hey. Hey.